Hello and welcome to this Indigo renderer tutorial on environment settings. Indigo has three different types of environments to choose from. The first one is none, no environment at all. This is for when you are only using mesh lights for lighting your scene. The environment map option is for when you want to use an HDR image or any other texture or background color for lighting. The Sun Sky option is Indigo's built-in Sun and Sky simulation, which is very accurate, very useful in many cases, and also probably the most easy to use. So let's start off with this option and see how it looks. That looks quite bright, so I'm going to lower the scale value of the filming toad mapper. Now, I want to make the sunlight hit the wall behind the bed, so I'm going to rotate the sunlight using the azimuth setting, and that's more like it. The sunlight is now hitting the wall and the bed pillows nicely. As you can see, there are a few more options in the sun and sky environment panel. The azimuth value controls the horizontal position of the sun, the zenith controls the vertical position, with around 90 degrees being sunset. There are two different sun and sky models to choose from. The captured one is more realistic, while the original one has a few extra settings, such as turbidity to control the haziness, and an extra atmospheric setting for rendering your space scenes of course. But we'll stay on Earth for this particular tutorial and try out the environment map option instead. So I'll load one up using the browse button. And that's really all you have to do to efficiently render using HDR images in Indigo. I'll reduce the scale value again. And also I'd like to change the direction of the light so that it falls nicely onto the pillows and wall again. I'll try 40 degrees first. That seems to have rotated the HDR image clockwise, which was the wrong direction, so let's try minus 40. And now I'm happy with how the light falls into the room. I'm not entirely happy with the entire image though. You might notice that the highlights look a bit weak, and the shadows aren't very well defined. I think our HDR image lacks some dynamic range. So I'm going to use a trick to fix that. Enable the advanced mode, go into the texture editor and change the gamma parameter to something like 1.3. This will increase the contrast and thus the dynamic range of the HDR image. And as you can see, it makes the lighting much more vivid. I will let this render for a little while. And there we go. A few minutes later and it's looking quite nice. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.